April Pearson here on the set of Tormented. You join me as, um, as I'm about to get my head chopped off. got three got elements that we're going to be shooting for this. So we're going to be shooting April against Blue Screen. Blue is usually better for skin tones because Blue is more different from the kind of yellowy red skin tones. Um, basically I'm going to have a, a harness around here and they're just going to tug it so that it's like, it looks like an impact and I'm going to go that way. I'm going to leave my head behind and my head's going to go that way. We're then going to be shooting a prosthetic neck and shoulders with blood spurting, similarly against blue screen. Basically, we've made a nice little bit of blood in there and then what we do is we pump it, comes along here, gets attached to a little pipe. It's all fixed and rigged. It goes in the back underneath the prosthetic and shoots out the top. Two, one, go! And then we're going to have the prosthetic head and shoulders with a head on, with someone swinging a spade at it uh, against an old background. That's my head. Let's go to the head made by, um, by, by putting this like glycerin kind of like gel stuff on my face and letting it set. I had like mod rock and stuff all the way over my torso and I had to like have my face in the same expression like set. And then they've basically like like jelly, they've just put a mould in, let it harden and then brought it out. And it's this like silicon rubbery kind of skin looking kind of thing. Three, two, one, action. There's a magnet. That is literally incorporated in here, uh -huh. and it's incorporated to the actual headpiece that we have too. We then can use April's body and head, and then at the moment of impact, we're going to transition the head to the prosthetic head, which is going to fly off, and we're going to use the spurting blood from the neck on her neck. We're, we're shooting it in the order we're shooting it so that we actually can line up the prosthetic head to the position that April's in at the moment of impact. Mm. So if we did the prosthetic head first, it'd be a lot harder for her to make sure she was in that position. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I don't think I'm gonna ask for the head at the end of it. I think that'd be a tad too weird. <laughs> 